everyone, today I want, I'm going to be reading a book called The Not Sleepy Shark. The Not Sleepy Shark. The sun slipped down and the moon rose above the sea. The fish and animals of the ocean grew quiet as they fell asleep. But deep under the shark sea, a shark named Amelia looked around for something, anything to do. Amelia was not sleepy. Amelia saw her friend, May the seahorse, swimming by. Hello, May, she said. Why are you still awake? I can't sleep because I'm worried about having a bad dream, said May. What kind of bad dream? asked Amelia. Well, May sighed. Once I had a bad dream that a rock fell on my tail. Oh, said Amelia. That is scary. You won't sleep near any rocks. You won't have to worry. Thank you, May said. Amelia was still not sleepy. Amelia heard a small voice. I can't sleep either, giggled a little clownfish named Jester. Why not, Amelia asked. Because I'm thirsty. Jester looked at her and smiled. Amelia stared at the clownfish, but she was very confused. But, but we live in the water, she said. I know, Jester giggled. I was just joking. The clownfish zipped away to find another audience for his joke. Amelia laughed and laughed. She was definitely not sleepy. Amelia saw Ada, who was swimming with a frown. Hello, how are you, Amelia asked. Ada shivered. I'm trying to sleep, but I'm too much cold. Even when I tuck into my shell, I cannot get warm. Hmm, said Amelia. You know, there is a warm, a warm gulf stream near my cave. You could go and sleep there. It would be very warm and cozy. With the flick up her feather of her flipper, Ada replied this wonderful news. Ada replied, what, what, this is, what, that is wonderful news. Thank you, thank you, I'm so tired. Amelia was glad, but she was still not sleepy. Hello, Amelia, said a tiny voice. It was Hannah. She was fanning her face with her claws. What are you doing, it said, asked Amelia. I'm trying to cool off, but I can't sleep because I'm too hot. Amelia thought to herself, well, I just passed Ada, and she said it's very cold back there. Maybe you can sleep there. Hannah clicked her claws and moved quickly to the cold spot. Amelia was still not sleepy. She saw Shash Sasha and swam over to her. Hi, Sasha. How come you're not sleeping tonight? Sasha groaned, because my little brother is bothering me and keeps waking me up. Every time I try to sleep, he, wins ar he swims around me and around and around me. Why don't you let him come snuggle with you? Amelia grinned. Then you can both go to sleep. Sasha swam away to find her brother, and Amelia was still not sleepy. Amelia saw a large school of fish swimming quickly towards her. Hello, she called. Why are you guys still awake? We're hungry, we're hungry, we're hungry. The fish swirled around it as they swam around, swirled and shouted as they swam around Amelia. Oh, I know the feeling, said Amelia. One brave fish swam toward, forward and said, We can eat krill. These itty bitty creatures these itty bitty creatures and we can't seem to find any our whole family is hungry and tired and really really grumpy well said amelia what do krill look like hmm like a small cloud in the water i suppose like like that amelia pointed her fin at the fish screamed with joy dinner they swam off calling good night thank you amelia was still not sleepy Amelia said hello to her friend Olivia. Why are you still awake? Amelia asked. There's so much to see and do. I can't sleep because I want to play and eat, swim, with, and visit my friends. Amelia agreed. There's always something fun happening, and it can be hard to fall asleep if you are afraid to miss out. Lucy swimming by and overheard Amelia talking. Oh dear, she said. You're having trouble sleeping? Yes, said Amelia. That is horrible, said Lucy. Maybe you can try sleeping like I do. Fall right to the 
fall I fall right to sleep every night. Bedtime is my favorite time of the day. How do you sleep? She asked. First, I wiggle my whole bodily body and stretch out my tail. Then I stand on my head and close my eyes. Amelia gasped. You sleep standing on your head? It's quite comfortable. You should try it. Amelia wiggled her body, stretched her tail, and flipped upside down. Wow, I feel very dizzy. Amelia decided that sleeping on her head was was not going to work, but she felt a little bit sleepy. Amelia felt her eyes grow heavy. Her fins were tired. She was tired. She, she was tired. Really, really tired. She swam home, yawning huge yawns. <sighs> she swam in three circles and yawned again. <sighs> All across the ocean, big creatures and big creatures, big and small, rested their bodies and minds. In the morning, they would wake up full of energy because they had recharged and rest and rested. It's basically like you're the battery and you're running out of like charge, so you go to a nearby plug, or AKA your house, and then you go sleep on your bed. That's basically what they're saying and then you're like and then you're full of charge and you're ready to do anything almost okay as the moon rose fully into the sky and moonlight flittered down the th- though through the deep blue water Amelia finally went to bed she closed her eyes curled her tail and fell asleep. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope to see my next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up. I will see you in our next video. Bye!